Another great update to Google Classroom is the ability to change notifications. In the past, when you wanted to adjust notifications, the only thing that you could change is whether or not you received emails. And that wasn't super intuitive. So now when I click on the pancake stack on the top left and I go down to the settings on the bottom of all my classes, it now takes me to a place where I can adjust notifications. And like I said, this was the only one at one time. And so now you can turn email notifications on and off. You can turn on whether or not you want comments on your post or comments that mention you. And so that's kind of handy, uh, whether you want an email every time you receive a comment. It is really handy if they address you directly. And so if you don't want an email for every single comment, but you want it that if they're trying to get your attention directly and they need your help, then they could put in your email address in order to do so. Okay. Uh, if you are enrolled in classes as a teacher, then you're able to have those notifications turned on. So if these types of posts or comments are driving you crazy where you get all kinds of uh, email notifications every time someone comments, but then at the same time you are involved as a student in a class, you're able to keep those types of notifications posted. So that way, if you're involved with a professional development activity of any sort, you're able to have those turned on and receive those. Um, and so you can decide what you want it to be, whether it's work and other posts from teachers, uh, whether it's returned work, maybe you don't want returned work and grades, you don't care about that, uh, whether it's invitations to join classes as a student, and this is really nice to have, I suggest you keep this one on. If there's due date reminders, having those emails are nice as well. And so this is if you are a student. For classes that you teach, you can have email reminders if students have late submissions for work, that's kind of nice, or resubmissions of student work. So if a student hits the unsubmit button and then updates it again, you can get an email alert and that's very handy uh, because sometimes uh, those things slip under your radar. And so having those extra emails are kind of handy. If you want a notification when someone asks you to co-teach a class, you can have that on or off. If a scheduled post published or failed, you can have that one turn on and off too. And I'd probably just go ahead and turn that off. And so this is probably the settings that I would have um, other than maybe this one I would probably keep on. So that way uh, students can address me directly if I needed an email notification. And so this is great that Google added this. Uh, it gives teachers much more uh, accessibility to how they can interact with Google Classroom and the notifications that are necessary.